this is the third in a series of tutorials about how to use ImageJ. In this video tutorial, we will capture leaf area. We will take photographs using an imaging apparatus, and we will describe the image capture protocol. We will also process and analyze images by setting scale, cropping an image, color thresholding, and finally, measuring the leaf area. for leaf area measurements, uh, the clipboard, uh, some two clips, a magnet, a clear folder pocket, and a post-it. That's all. So after you choose the leaf that you're going to measure, uh, you need to open the magnet and slice the leaf inside the plastic film. Be sure that there is uh, expanded and then that the uh, post-it is completely and the leaf is not covering any edge. This is ready for the picture. In order to set scale for our image, first we are going to import the image. Go to File, Open, and navigate to the image. Or drag the image onto the graphical user interface. Both actions will open the image. Go ahead and select the straight line tool. Draw a line to an object of known size, in this case the post-it pad right here. Uh, you can also use the clipboard to scale this kind of image. Um, now we're going to set the distance to the line. Go to Analyze, um, Set Scale. Um, we know the post-it is a 3-inch post-it, so we're going to set the known distance to 3 and um, the unit of length to inch. And we're going to leave the global unchecked. Um, regarding the global option, um, when the global option is checked, the same image calibration will be applied to images that will be imported subsequently. Uh, until image J is quit or a new scale is set. Um, we're only analyzing one image at the moment, so we can leave it unchecked. Uh, go ahead and click OK. Now that our image is scaled, in order to crop the image, we are going to um, first select the rectangle tool. We're going to use it to select the area of interest. We're going to make the smallest rectangle we can around our leaf. Next, go to Image and um, Crop. The magnet should be excluded from the cropped image because its hue and brightness are similar to those of the leaf. Um, if it is impossible to exclude the magnet with the rectangle tool, you can go ahead and use the freehand selection tool instead. Now that our image is scaled and cropped, we are going to go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold to separate the leaf from the background. Um, we're going to adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness to select the leaf. Um, hue is one of the color appearance parameters, and it describes pure spectrum colors. Since red is green's complementary color, and the clipboard is red, um, the clipboard should be relatively easy to separate from the leaf tissue. In this case, hue range from 40 to 185. Um, and saturation from 0 to 255, and brightness from um, 0 to 175 um, 
should work well. Go ahead and click the select button. Now we're going to um, go to process, binary, make binary to convert the color image to a binary black and white image. Uh, in order to measure the leaf area, first go to Analyze, Set Measurements uh, to select the measurement variables that you want. In this case, we want Area and Limit to Threshold. Um, go ahead and click OK. Next, go to Analyze, Measure, or you can also um, uh, select Control m to measure the leaf area. Um, so this is our leaf area measurement. Um, we can go ahead and record it onto an Excel sheet. Um, we can also save a copy of this image by going to File, Save As, and then selecting the extension that we want. In this case, I'll go ahead and take a TIFF, um, save it in the same folder location. And now I have uh, the processed image as well, saved onto my laptop. Thank you so much for watching. That concludes our third tutorial about finding leaf area. Hopefully we'll have another movie for you soon.